We end tonight on Rarotonga, one of the Cook Islands in the South Pacific. It's a meeting place for humpback whales. The humpback was hunted nearly to extinction, but after the whaling ban in 1966, they once again swim in every ocean. On assignment for 60 Minutes, we met a human who may know them best, American marine biologist Nan Hauser. 80% of their lives are spent submerged, and this is where Nan Hauser has made some of her most beautiful discoveries. Here we see a male standing on his head upside down, singing a song. They are motionless, and the song bellows out. The humpback song can be 20 minutes long, and they repeat the same song again and again. Males in one region will all sing the same song the same way, but next year, they'll return with a new composition. So this is air somehow moving around inside their heads mm -hmm. that's making this sound. Correct. Even though they don't have vocal cords. Correct. It's almost, I think, like taking a balloon full of air and going oh. <laughs> The sound carries for miles, and Hauser believes it's all to mark their territory. They take turns singing, perhaps to say, my lungs are bigger, I can hold my breath longer, I can sing a more beautiful song, I'm the dominant male, I'm going to sing here, so you move away and sing somewhere else. Can you do some of the sounds that you've heard? I think the most common whale sound is kind of the But We get everything. We've even had the laughing monkey. Creaky doors. What are they saying? We don't know. So you speak whale, but you don't understand it? Absolutely. <laughs> we'll have much more Diving with the Humpbacks this Sunday evening on 60 Minutes.